So last Black Friday, though, I wake up and Amazon had revoked half my catalog. And that's the that's like like the story of every Amazon seller ever. Their greatest fear. Black Friday weekend. Congratulations, Stephen. You're an Amazon expert and you have half your products yanked. Uh, what did you do wrong? So, <laughs> so I was selling some um, some tumblers that were in, in the parody space, right? So I was, I, I was combining uh, IP for multiple things and kind of putting them together. So I take like Starbucks and combine it with Star Wars, right? Two IPs, slam them together on a tumbler. And it was going very well until it wasn't right? Which is the story of every Amazon seller ever, right? So I could not get those products reinstated. I, I flat out failed as an Amazon expert who can reinstate almost anything, couldn't reinstate, reinstate my own products. Amazon repeatedly told me there is no pathway to reinstatement. They nuked my entire category for parody in the Tumblr space. Nobody can do it anymore. And I'm probably the reason why nobody can do it anymore. Um, but like they completely flat out nuked it. I never once had an IP like flag on my account. Just one day, Amazon's like, we're, we're not going to allow that anymore. You're gone. So, they, so that they were, was for trademark violations, I assume? No, they, they, they never actually came out and said it. <laughs> they just said, okay. these are these are violate terms. We're not going to tell you which term and and goodbye. Right. They revoked huh. my brand registry, did the same thing. Not going to tell you why. It's one of these eight listed reasons. You figure it out. I got brand registry reinstated the first time, but the second time it never came back. Right. So we're going on eight, nine months of that, just totally gone forever. So I made the difficult decision. Right. So I, I knew how this was going to come across in our space. Like, oh, if Steven can't do it, then who can? Right. Uh, mm -hmm. If Steven can't do it, I'm not going to hire Steven to do it for my brand. Right. Like I knew those objections were going to come out. And I still made the choice to go ahead and reveal my hand, right? I didn't have to say anything. I could have I could have just like gone into the sunset and worked on the agency, but like that's not my brand. <laughs> like my brand is radical transparency, over communicate, share everything I do. And I believe that if I stick to my brand, that I will get richer because of it. I believe that more people will flock to the message um, and be part of that process. And so far, I believe I've been proven true, right? So $20 million agency, 400 clients, 500 jobs have made. It's been going well. But my private label brand was a flat out disaster. There's no question about it. So I decided- the age of sage one, right? Yeah. So the, the whole account was a, a cluster, right? Like total mm -hmm. CF. And so like I decided that I needed to separate myself from it. So I didn't have, so I wasn't losing money every month, right? So I, I lost a quarter million in inventory, was losing on warehouse fees, you know, had 11 employees. All of those expenses were adding up. I couldn't list new products on the account. I couldn't load a new brand. Like once you uh, lose brand registry, you can't load another brand to the account, right? So like it was just, it was just dead, total dead. And I needed to cut the cancer out. So I decided to sell it. We had an offer. We were going to go through with it. And at the last second, my partner said, you know what? I'm going to continue your dream, Stephen. Maybe I'll give it to your kids someday. Maybe I won't, but I'm going to buy it instead of this other guy. And I'm like, fine, no problem. I don't care as long as I don't have to deal with it. The net benefit for me was I got to keep access to the account and I can still shoot videos because uh, he doesn't care. So that's the nice thing. But I sold it out. And I decided that like, you know what, I'm just going to focus on my agency. 